Okay, so uh, let's consider a curve. Uh, and we have a nice vector valued function that describes it. And uh, we know that, uh, that this curve segment that we're looking at is defined uh, for t uh, greater than or equal to a, less than or equal to b. And so we, uh, we found already that the actual length uh, is just the integral from a to b of r prime of t dt. Oh, magnitude r prime of t dt. So uh, the thing is, though, uh, what if we don't want the length of the whole curve? What if we only want to travel from time equals a to some other time? Well, instead of uh, looking at this, we can say uh, for a time t uh, less than or equal to b, uh, we actually know that the distance that we travel in that time, I'm going to indicate that that distance depends on uh, time uh, as I did right there. Uh, we'll start at a and we'll just go up to that time t. Now uh, we want to uh, avoid a clash of notation here. So instead of using uh, t in this, uh, this integral, I'm going to use tau. It doesn't actually matter because when we actually compute this antiderivative, we'll have a function in tau. And when we plug in t and a, uh, we'll then just get a function of t back. So we just choose this parameter tau here uh, just so there's no confusion with uh, this t right here. So not a big deal. Well, so the nice thing now is we see that uh, we have a very explicit relationship between the distance that we travel along the curve and our time parameter t. So this is particularly nice. Um, so the question that we want to answer now is, well, actually two questions. One, um, if I'm just given any old parameterization of a curve, maybe I'm lucky. Maybe I parameterized it by arc length. If I am, great, but how do we know if we did that? Secondly, maybe we didn't do that, and we want to find an arc length reparameterization of the curve. Well, how do we go about doing that? So we'll explore that in a, in a minute. Just make sure that you understand that uh, this particular formula now actually gives us an explicit relationship between how far we travel along the curve, s, and how long we've traveled from our starting time.